Yo, this is a pretty interesting and ambitious build. Let's see how this goes. What's good, folks? It's your boy Dookie back again with Bang. Budgeted new gear reviews to help you get the best Bang for your tech dollars. And I'm here with a build that I'm about to put together I want to share with you guys. Now, this is only going to be a part one. I promise I'm not going to do a whole four or five part series for something like this. There's just gonna be two videos. This first one, we're gonna talk about the parts that I got, the reasoning behind this build, and kind of what I wanna do with it. On part two, you're gonna get the build guide with all the beautiful B-roll, you're gonna get the finished product, and we're gonna do some benchmarks and all of that stuff. So make sure you subscribe, stay tuned. Now, I've been wanting to put together a mini ITX system for a while, and while this video was not sponsored in any way, shape, or form, I wanna give a shout out to the good folks over at Ice Doc. They sent me over these two products, which kind of put me in motion to gather all these parts to go ahead and do this build. But the idea behind this video, especially if you've already seen the thumbnail, is three parts. One gaming, two HTPC, and three a raid box. Now ideally what this would be is a machine I can put in my living room. I can play some light games on there, you know, as well as using this to play some DVDs. Now I know DVDs aren't really a big thing anymore, but I do have some old Kung Fu movies that I love on DVD and I can't find those specific versions of them anywhere else. And then raid, I'm gonna be having two drives on here in raid zero, uh, to just to hold some of the files, games, game saves files and stuff like that so this is gonna be a pretty interesting little box we're gonna let's go over the parts and i'll tell you about why i got them and what i hope to do with them in this build so let's start off with the cpu got the core i3 6100 now i actually got this used bought it pretty cheap now if you remember that i had a ryzen 3 1300 the 1300X, I believe, that I really wanted to use in a build, but I eventually sold that. So, you know, I would have loved to use that in this build, but I went, picked something up for really cheap, found somebody selling this i3-6100. This is dual core with multi-threading. Should be just good enough for a small little system like this, from very light gaming, like nothing intense, but this should still be good. And if not, we can always upgrade it to like an i5 or something down the road. So that's good that we got that. Motherboard, we got the MSI B250i Gaming Pro AC. Now this is a pretty powerful, feature packed motherboard right here. It's got pretty much all the features that I would need. It's got wireless and Bluetooth, so I won't have to run any cables along ethernet cord to the living room. And I can hook up something like a Xbox One controller or even my Nintendo Switch Pro controller and play some games on this. That's definitely good that we picked this up. Now, if you see this machine back here, that is my Ryzen 5 1600 build. I just did a video where I'm talking about some of the issues I had with overclocking it. I shut it down because I needed to pull the RAM out of it for this build right here. We got eight gigabytes of Viper RAM. RAM is still ridiculous. It's, it's crazy right now. But I did pick up a 16 gigabyte kit that would be going into that machine back there. So I pulled this out so it could go into this build that we're about to work on. Now storage wise for the main OS, we're gonna be using this 128 gigabyte SSD from Drevo. Shout out to them, they sent this over a few months back. Pretty great little solid fast SSD drive. This should be good for running our OS, any apps that we need to install on it. This should be great, just good enough what we need. Icy Doc sent over two pieces because what they wanted to do was show how they could use these two pieces in HTPC build so you can still get a DVD writer or a Blu-ray player and have a RAID installation in the same five and a quarter inch drive. So normally what would be a standard five and a quarter CD or DVD drive or Blu-ray drive, you use these two pieces to get multi-functionality. First you start off with this, it's the ultra slim optical disc drive bay. So you can put a three and a half inch hard drive or something else in here and slide a really slim DVD drive on top of here. So we picked this up and I have a super slim DVD drive to go on top of that. Then in conjunction with this, we use this right here, dual bay, two and a half inch RAID bay. So you can slide two, two and a half inch drives in here and get RAID functionality in the, all in the space of a standard five and a quarter inch drive like for your DVD. So we'll be pairing that with two one terabyte WD RAID drives 
Big shouts out to the people at WD for sending this over for me to check out. I need you to stay tuned because I got a couple more of these and I want to give them away to you guys. So make sure you subscribe. If you ain't subscribed, you're going to miss out on this. So that brings us to what I feel is the budget graphic card of 2017, the 1050 Ti. So this should be just good enough for us to play a lot of games of 1080p. So we go check this out. I got a full review coming on this one as well. So make sure you stay tuned. Now the CPU does come with the cooler, but I want to try this out. This is the Gemini M4 cooler. It's a super slim cooler. Hopefully this should provide us better cooling. One thing about these little boxes, man, there's not a lot of space in there. So it takes a lot to keep them really cool. So hopefully this should really help us out and keeping that cool and calm ready to go. Now this is one of the things that I'm not the surest about. This is the Corsair CX series 430 power supply is 80 plus bronze. I picked this up for a mini ITX build I had planned to do, never got around to doing it. So we're gonna put this in here, see if it works. If it doesn't, we'll probably switch this out with something, but this should be good enough to get us power. We don't need a lot of power for this machine. We gotta go with what we got. Case wise, we'll be working in the Cooler Master Elite 130. It's one of the few ITX cases that has a full five and a quarter inch drive bay. I didn't wanna try to mod or hack. I have another, I have some other mini ITX cases that don't have that drive bay because it's really going out of style but this one has it so that's good we're going to make it work do what it do and to wrap it all up we got a little bit of led lighting because hey why not this is where i need you guys help i need some name suggestions this is going to be a pretty interesting build if you can do all three of the things that i'm hoping for so in, i need a name that kind of goes along with the theme if you suggest a name and I end up using it, I will send you one of those WD Red drives. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, and you leave a comment letting me know what the name should be. And if you win, I'll get in contact with you and get that out to you. All right, it's your Ken Full Dookie. I'm going to get up out of here because I got to actually put this together so I'm not just talking about it. We're going to get it all up and running, looking real good, and I'm going to come back and tell you what it is. Holla at your boy.